Alright, so today gets to be part one of stoichiometry. And in this one we're going to do a very simple moles to moles conversion. So what you should be seeing on your screen right about now is a chemical equation, which is Na2CO3 plus 2HCl turns into CO2 plus H2O plus 2NaCl. And since this is just a very simple part one, we're just going to do a very simple moles, moles to moles. Because this is the very basics. So let's assume, of course, you always have to assume that you have two moles of HCl. And you want to find out how many moles of CO2 you can create, right? So, let's create a new sketch. And so we start out with two moles of HCl over one. And the whole point of stoichi stoichiometry is that you want the exact same unit diagonal HCl. So see this, this is the same unit as that, right? And then at the very end, you want to have your final thing. So in this case, it's moles of CO2. And the whole point of stoichiometry is that you always want to get to a mole to mole ratio, because that's the basis. So we'll look at the equation and when you go from moles of something to moles of another, all you have to do is look at the coefficients. So in this case, the reaction has two HCl. So two moles of HCl. And then it's just CO2. So it's, there's an assumed one as the coefficient. So for every two moles of HCl, you get one mole of CO2. So this is actually just it, because now we have our final answer in the top right, our final unit, moles of CO2. So you do the math, 2 over 2, 1. So your final answer would be 1 mole of CO2. So for every 2 moles of HCl you have, you'll get 1 mole of CO2. And that's very basic stoic, just mole to mole conversion. So in the next video, I'll show how to go from grams to grams. Because that's, that's the same thing, pretty much. Because you keep the basis of moles to moles.